the heck is this? Hurry up, gracious. Oh wait, that's Keefy. Yeah, that is Keefy. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning or mid morning. So we finished planting cotton Friday. So we got the 8330, got the cotton planter unhooked, hadn't cleaned it up yet. But we took the duals off the 8330, got the tank off, all the hoses, hydraulic pump, all that off. And now we've hooked it up to this. Get out of my way. Yeah, we're gonna scoop it and get it. Or just fluff it before you load it up. Put me in the ditch over here, didn't you? Nah. Dang, that's a good one. Yep. I'm going to take this Kyle's about time you get here. Been waiting for, what, a good 30 minutes? Of course he doesn't want to have to hurry you in the ditch back here. Hey guys, if anybody's interested in getting a spreader buggy, I would strongly suggest checking out Newton Crouch. Now they don't pay me a dime, not sponsored, none of that. This channel's got a measly 600 subscribers, right? It's all hydraulics, controlled by the Raven. So you just input how much you wanna put out, whether if it's 300 pounds of fertilizer or 500 or 1,000 pounds of gypsum. You adjust your gate height, your spreader constant, and that's it, you're ready to roll. I mean, it literally takes maybe 30 seconds to, to get everything like it needs to be and then you're on your way. So check them out. Newton Crouch, they're the best. In the slap middle of a Newton Crouch buggy and I'm sitting on gypsum or land plaster as you call it. Now we use gypsum to spread on our peanuts. These peanuts here are 55 days old. Right now it's when we spread gypsum and the reason we do that is to fill out the peanut. So if we don't spread this, there's a this is pretty much calcium, right? So all this is calcium. Without this, you'll form a peanut, but there'll be no nut inside the shell. All right, so we're covering uh, 12 rows, so 36 feet. We can make it go a little bit further, but uh, we don't want to push it too hard. Gypsum, or funky monkey, land plaster, whatever you want to call it, uh, at 1,000 pounds per acre. So we'll go across this whole field with 1,000 pounds per acre. Now you can variable rate, Spit my gum out but we're just going to do a thousand pounds that seems to give us a you know a good yield with that most people won't show you their mess ups on a farm but i'm going to show you mine you notice these rows here just get all kind of cattywampus cattywampus on us cattywampus on us right we got rows on top of rows what happened is when i went to plant this i got on the wrong line thought it was the right one and i planted this just a little bit then i figured it out you know it's, it's at an angle so when i came back well then i got on the correct line i said well i'll just plant the right one so I pretty much planted peanuts on top of peanuts, but it's just this little 50 foot section. So it wasn't like the whole field was done that way. But nonetheless, what's worse is this is where you come into the field and that's the first thing you see is my mess up for the whole world to see. So here it is folks, we're all human, right? We've got a straggler here in the middle of our cotton field. And this poor guy got confused and jumped over here. It's supposed to be here, bud. Oh my God. We'll go and replant him right here. And he's good to go. Oh snap. Got to get wet. <laughs> oh, settle down. All right, I'm headed to drop Jeff off to his tractor. He just finished Turner Field, which is 140 acres. Jeff, everything go good? Yeah, everything went real good, real smooth. But soon, Jeff, you're about to jump up to the 24 row. Yes, I can't wait. So then he can cover up. some sure enough ground. Well, we got one more field. We're gonna do with this one, 100 acres, and then we'll be swapping back over. Get out of here. All right, I'm out of here. You gotta unlock me. All right, I'm gonna get this pivot fired up. All right. We'll see One out of two pivots fired up for today. Gonna water the peanuts. Got a pretty dry week ahead of us. And I better hurry up before I get wet. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go. 
Alright, here we are, pivot number two. Come on. Move. You know you want to move. Just go ahead and move. Come on, I ain't got all day. Move. I should have moved by now. Come on. Come on. Yes, it moved, finally. Road by this field. This is the field of cotton that we just finished up Friday. Today's Monday. Um, crazy how fast this stuff comes up. So this was just print printed Friday, and look, you already got it coming up. That Delta Fine boy is showing out. Uh, we got a triple dropped right there. We uh, should get some precision plates, maybe next year. Only three days, we've already got cotton speed. We already got cotton speed. We've already have cotton seed that has sprouted and is coming up. Fast growing stuff. Oh, now I'm headed back to the pivot, the first pivot I crunk up because my phone notified me that it has quit. So I'm hoping every now and then it just does funky stuff. So I'm hoping that it was just a, a fluke, but uh, we'll know soon. Well, unfortunately, it was telling the truth. It has quit. So hopefully it's nothing major, not a gearbox or something like that. Sometimes this pivot is weird. It seems like when you first, you know, use it quite a bit, which I mean, hell, this pivot is. 30 years old or more. Uh, all the dry shafts are on. Tires look good. I don't know. I'm not sure what it was. I checked it over. Uh, motor crunk up. Belts look good. Plenty of water. So she's walking. If it gives me too much more problems, I have to get Keithy on it. Keithy's the wizard when it comes to pivots. We actually call him the pivot wizard. Keithy's corner. Just kidding. We never call him that. But she's going. Hopefully she'll stay that way.